How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. I'm glad that mess is over for Tali, Commander. Some of those Quarians. I guess living your whole life aboard a ship can really mess with your priorities? Not that I would know. I'll just burn myself. Great. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Shepard. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. I was just thinking about you. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. This mission takes me back. Nice ship you got here. Rumi. Last ship I worked on, two men couldn't walk past each other in the hall unless they were really good friends. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Kila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty Board. What will that do to the balance of power? I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Replacing an admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve, but my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of Geth. 
I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. have found something. source inside the base. It is probable that destroying it would disrupt the entire facility. Indeed. You got it! Enjoy. Hit! Not a problem. Taking cover! Trouble ahead. Not difficult. Afraid of 
to leave. With you! We can use this. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. No messages for you, Commander. How may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive. Ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud, and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander. Shepard. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. I should go. 
I shall return to my meditations. Hey, Shepard. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Shepard? Just checking in. How you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. That's all for now. Shepard. Hey. Talk to me, Jack. Shepard, we talked enough. You're just pissing around. No hard feelings, but I don't want to play. I should go. Whatever. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new quarry and boss? Hush, she's right over there. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. <laughs> Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bullshit! Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alari. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. 
Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld in our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that though, except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a... Um, wow, it's really hot in here. It's just that the tradition also signifies a willingness for um, intimacy. I wasn't trying to... It's not always like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? I mean, a young woman gets rescued by a dashing commander who lets her join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? How could she possibly develop any kind of interest in him? This mission will be risky enough. I can't jeopardize your health for that. No matter how much I'd like to. But you'd like to? Um... Good to know. Anyway, I should get back to work, but thanks for coming by and talking. Back for another lesson. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hannah. Damn, jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hannah since. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard.